Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Mickey the Barber. So today I'm gonna kind of go over um, what I need to be called like a touch up or like, um, you know, you get a toupee put on your head and it's reusable. So basically after you apply it the initial first time, uh, you could always come back and um, get the unit cleaned and reapplied. Which, which which is what makes the unit reusable. And I try to tell everybody that the longer lasting units, they're not supposed to stay on your head for, for the whole entire time, um, especially when you're using glue. Um, for tape purposes, it don't last that long anyway. So for tape, I mean, the unit could possibly last longer if you just use tape. But most people want a secure unit on top of their head. So that's where the glue comes in to play or the adhesive. Um, because they want it to like stay on their head. They want they don't want to go out and about and the unit can easily fly off or the unit can easily be um, detached from the head. Uh, with just tape, that sometimes is possible. Now with glue, that makes it a little bit more um, sturdy, makes it a little bit a better hold. So you don't have to worry about just coming off randomly. Now, the problem with the glue is that, you know, the glue needs to be cleaned off of the base of the unit once it's um, worn, once it's initially worn. Now, depending on who, who does your unit for you, as far as a, like a, a barber or, or whatever, um, that will let you know if you can actually like reuse the unit or not, because sometimes uh, you may have a professional, they may mess up the toupee as far as like just the hair on it, um, the blending of the hair, and, and if that like cutting too short of, of the hair on the side so it don't really blend in. And sometimes when that happens, that does make for a situation to where you might not be able to like re-wear the unit once it's taken off your head if it don't match, if it don't like blend into your hair. So some people will go ahead and get a new unit. Now, I try to tell people that the, there's two main reasons why it would be time for a new unit. Um, and for some professionals, that may not always be an end, end all, be all, like, oh, you need to get a new unit. So those two situations would be um, if the base of the unit is compromised, meaning that the lace or the PU or whatever type of base you have, if it's like torn, um, ripped, or if it's like... Um, it's just damaged to where you can't get it to stick or um, it just don't look cohesive once you put it on their head as far as the base. Uh, that means it's time to get a new new unit because you can't repair the base. Now, for certain, for certain types of base, like a lace base, you could possibly repair it by sewing it back together if it's torn, but at the same time, it's not going to look the same. Um, and nine times out of ten, it may not be the same and it may not. So... And the, the unit is fairly, it's not cheap, but I, you just would need a new one, at least for it to look how you would like it to look. To look. Um, that's one thing. Two is if the hair is, um, if the hair is damaged on the unit, meaning that if they, uh, if, if the client probably like combed it out too much and it starts shedding a lot and it's like now there's holes in the unit as far as like you can see the, the base of the unit while it's on top of the head, then that might mean that it's time for a new unit. Um, so in all, those are the, my two cases to where I tell my client, hey, you just need to get a new unit because you know this one is unrepairable. Um, so I have right now, I have, I'm gonna show you guys how I, how me personally, Mickey the Barber cleans units, my units. Um, you might have some people that may clean in a different way. So there are other options as far as how to clean a unit. But this is how I clean it. This is what works best for me. And I do want to share some of my tips so some people can, um, if they want to, try to clean it at home. Or uh, for a professional who may not just be like, ah, this is something that I did not learn is how to clean the unit. Um, and that's fine. Like I said, it's going to be up to you what works for you as a professional and what works for you as an individual. But for the most part, I'm just going to give you guys some tips on how I clean the units. Now... Today I have two units with me. So I have units, these unit, previous units that my clients had on when they came in, they got a new unit. So of course, you know, I, I could keep the units so I could throw them away. But I want to show you guys because both of them need to be clean. So I just want to show you guys how I clean the units if the units would be 
repairable. Now, for this unit right here, this is in waveform. Uh, as you can tell, it, it's, it needs to be clean because it got a lot of glue at the bottom. Uh, but um, as you can tell with the waves on there, the waves are really still intact. They really kind of still look good. I don't think it would be hard for me to rejuvenate this and get this unit looking back to how it how it needs to be. But my unit, my client just wanted a new unit. They didn't want to have to deal with um, rejuvenated. And sometimes you're gonna have some clients that's like that, or some people that's like, I just want a new unit. I don't want to deal with all that. Um, so uh, not most because some people put all their money into these to these things, so they don't want to just replace a new unit every once every 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 week. So. Um, Again, like I said, this is a unit that I can rejuvenate. There's nothing wrong with the hair on the unit. And although the base is dirty and it needs to be clean, I'm going to clean it in a few minutes. Um, the no, There's nothing wrong with the base, meaning that the base is still intact. There's, there's no tearing of the of the base, of the lace base. Um, and it, it's, it's well, I can put it, I can just put it right back on my client's head without an issue. Um so the first thing um, in this unit, I can honestly say it, it's definitely different um, because the client was wearing um, curls and not waves. Um, the curl hairstyle, it's a little bit harder to, to maintenance a curl versus it is uh, waves. So as you can tell with the waves, the hair was laying down. So all they had to do was wear a do-rag um, and this would maintain the hairstyle. So that meaning that as long as they had a do rag on, they kept the hair down, it, it would be good. They might have to brush through the hair every couple every couple of days, but for the most part, this is what makes the 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 unit look good. Now, if I didn't have all this excess, I didn't have this excess left on here, this may not be good for good for for a, a reply, meaning that it may not flow into my client's head like it needs to if some of this hair was gone so sometimes you may end up going to a barber that may cut off these little bitty this little bitty extra hair that you need to flow over to that um and if that's gone it may not look like you want it to look so it may be time to get a new unit um and again with this one like i said this one's easy to, to care for because it's a all you have to do is put a do-rag on and basically it's good um, as far as curls, it's a little bit different with curls because you need to, because this is, even though it's human hair, it still needs to be combed out at least daily or every other day, uh, because it gets tangled and matted. Let me see if it don't put that up to the camera. It gets really like matted. So this was a situation to where I had to tell my client, like, like I, I really can't ju rejuvenate this and make this look like it did when you left the initial time. Um, and he did let me know, like I ain't comb it, I ain't do nothing to it. I just would wake up and go about the day, and I'm like, this is not your hair. So you know, as it would be with your own hair, you can just get up and go and not really have to comb it out, and you wouldn't have to like really worry about it getting tangled within a short period of time. This is not the same. So. Um, as far as like even with you know with your own hair if you don't comb it out in a certain length of time then it can get tangled or it can like get matted together and that's pretty much what happens to this this just happens sooner than later for hair that is mm, how you say it like uh hair that's processed so because this hair is processed it the longevity of it it really depends on you so you have to comb out this hair. If you're wearing curls or kinks or whatever the case may be, you have to comb this hair out, whether it be with a shampoo comb or whether it be with a regular comb, you need to comb this hair out because it will tangle in, in a short amount of time. So he only had this, this unit on for two weeks, two weeks. And because he didn't do anything to it, now it's matted. You can't even see the, the, the roots of it. You can't even see the base. Uh, because it's so matted. Now, a re another thing, like I said, I'm. It's, it's gonna take me a lot to try to get the the detangle this and get the knots out. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done because it could be, but you would have to put a lot of work in to to make this look like it did before. Nine times out of ten, most of the time when it tangles up like this, and then you are able to like get some of it loose, some hair sheds off. Um, a lot of hair is kind of like yanked out as you're doing this. So, like I said, it's just not going to look 
how they looked originally when they left. So they might not like it simply just because you can like pick it out and do all that stuff. They still might not like it because it may not look like it did originally. Now, uh, again, like I said, if you have curls or you wearing some type of kinky look to where you need to like sponge, sponge curl it, you need to comb this hair out. There's no way that it's not going to get tangled, period. So again, those are my two things as far as like where I feel like you may need to get a newer unit um replace so i mean my client was okay with replacing this unit he's like oh yeah i just get a new unit i don't uh, you know but i did you know give him better tips on how to like care for it because again you can't just put the units on your head and think that you're not gonna have to touch them or you're not gonna have to do nothing now it doesn't happen as far as tangling doesn't happen that much with this hair but what happens with the waves is if it gets wet or anything happens to it, it curls up. So a wave pattern is a curl pattern. So it'll it'll curl up whether it's in the front or whether you know these little sides are out. It'll curl up. So you will have to worry about getting this back to laying down properly like you did, like waves do. So um, I always tell my clients that a little foam you can put like a little styling foam, put a little handful of styling foam. On your on your on the top of your head, brush down, and then put your do rag back on. And it should lay down like it did originally. Um, and again, let me go ahead and show you guys how I clean the unit. Um, for one, one of my biggest things is I make my clients take their unit off before they come in. Like you're not about to take your unit off in my chair. Like I'm not about to take your unit off for you. Um, and yeah, I could do it, but at the same time, like. I don't want to have to deal with all this uh, with a big gunky mess while I'm also having to get everything together to put this back on your head. So the main thing that I do is I make them take their unit off either the night before, most likely the night before, or they just take it off prior to them coming to the appointment. So they take it off, which allows the glue that's on there to dry. Um, because I hate dealing with the glue when it's in its gunky mode. Like when it's still kind of like, like I said, if it's coming straight off of their scalp while they're sitting in my chair, then of course the heat from their body will still be exhuming that glue. So it's going to be in its gunky mode. It's not going to be in a stick mode. So again, that doesn't, it doesn't work well for me when it's in that gunky mode. Cause what happens is, especially for a, a lace base, um, it seeps the, the, the gunk while I'm cleaning it, it seeps back into the, uh, the lace. Um, and then it goes into the roots of the hair, which makes it a difficult situation to get the glue out the roots of the hair. So keep in mind that, and I said, this, this, this is how I do it. This is just what works for me. Now I, I've seen other, other, uh, hairstylists go in and just try to get all this out with just hot water. Uh, they'll just sit the unit under some hot water and try to use um, all the products that they can to get the glue off. Uh, but for me, that doesn't work well for the hair itself because once I once I do all that to get the gunk off of the unit, the most likely the hair would not be not be looking the same. It may look like it's more silkier, it may lay straighter, um, simply because a lot of people not understanding that these units are. Um, how do you say it? It's processed. They're processed. The hair that's on there is processed. Um, they put a, a perm on the hair to give it that wave, to give it that curl. So when you put in the other products and stuff on there, that kind of goes, that kind of works against the the, um, the perm that they put on there. So just keep that stuff in mind. Um, and that's why you can get a unit and you get it put back on, you get a wash and stuff and it's put back on and it's not looking the same. That's because it probably was a lot of stuff that was being used to um, try to get the gunk out of the the, um, the lace, and it probably just, just didn't didn't look didn't look right, didn't sit right anymore. So I try my best to kind of not not go into that. Uh, so what I do is I like I said I make my clients take their unit off a day before or prior. They kind of come in with a head on if that doesn't work for them because they coming off when they get off of work. Yada yada yada. They got this. They got to do. Uh, my thing is, is put a hat on um, or come to me on your day off. That way we ain't got to even worry about none of that. The day, the night before you, you go, you can take your unit off and then you can come in with a hat, in, a hat on. 
you got to work with me just so I can work with you. We want to get this done properly. So you can take your unit off the day before, which allows the glue to dry on the base. Once the glue is dry, it makes it easier for me to get the glue off. But just the glue, not having to sit, uh, sit this under water or sit this under any type of other product to get the glue off. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. And I'm going to say it's the same thing for, for both um is to um just let make sure that they dry now these these clients came in like last week so these units been sitting up and the glue is dry so this i use a dry towel this is a dry towel not wet don't put no products on it so this is a dry towel what i do is you guys can see It's not as dry as I would like it, but it's a little dry. So, and again, if you don't really want to deal with this, you definitely can just use tape. But at the same time, just keep in mind that that tape uh, don't don't hold as good as the glue. So, as you can tell. I'm just kind of like wiping it off as easily rolling up into a ball by me just, you know, kind of doing this with a dry towel. And again, it's not as dry as I usually have it, which I think is weird and probably because it's been sitting in this, in this room for a couple of days, but it's not as dry as I would like it to be as far as the glue, but it's still doing exactly what I need it to do, which is just rolling up into a ball. And that's basically kind of like leaving me with a, a, with a little amount of residue of glue to, that I can clean off with, with, um, with warm water. And again, I'm not using, uh, I'm not, I'm also not using like the C22, the glue remover, because that also kind of puts it back into this gunky mode that makes it hard to clean off. And also keep in mind that with the C22, um, it'll seep into the lace base and it'll like kind of like be hard to get out of the lace base. So then that makes it difficult to reapply the unit and it stays down without moving. Once that glue is kind of like set in this lace, I mean, once that, um, that C22 is set in this lace, it just makes it hard for it to stick again. So just keep that in mind, which is the reason why I don't like to use that C22 like that, uh, because I don't want it to interfere with the hole when I reapply. Let me see. Let me just make it a little bit easier. Like I said, I'm a, after I'm done with, with getting the glue off, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to wash it. And I'm just going to wash it with a regular shampoo and conditioner. There's no specific type of shampoo and conditioner that you need. Just make sure they don't have a lot of extra stuff in it. Like a lot of oils and shit like that. And yeah, this makes for definitely makes for a mess, a big mess. Um, like I would love for my clients to get to a point to where they know how to clean this off themselves, because I don't want to do this. But um, but I do have a lot of clients who do do this stuff. I explain it to them and I kind of like walk them through it and I show them stuff like this. And they learn how to do this stuff on their own. So uh, for people that feel like, oh, I need my I need my barber to do it. Like you don't need, you can do it yourself. Like you just choose not to. And um, even with this service, people need to get to a point to where they are not relying on a professional to always be available to get this to to to, to clean. And it, it is kind of hard to reapply because you can't see your head also. Like, you can't see the back of your head. You can see the front of your head. So, you know, it may be easier for you to re to apply it to the front, but it's not going to be as easy to, to, to make sure that it's sitting in the correct space um, from the from the back. So uh, what I tell my clients is also is like, well, you can do, um, you can, instead of taking the, the unit completely off your head to wash it, 
what you can do is you can do um, half in the front, clean your scalp, clean the base, uh, put some glue down, press it down, get that, you know, once it's, dry, once it's dry, press that down, get in it, and then you pull up the back and do the same thing. That way you're not moving the unit from its original place. You're just kind of like lifting it in areas and doing the cleaning and then reapplying. That makes it a little bit easier for somebody that's going in and doing that. I made it. You see, I got most of that off. So it's looking revamped a little bit. I'm gonna come back with it with it clean and then I'm gonna show y'all how to um clean the unit and get it like rejuvenated and all that stuff. Okay. So if you can see, we got the we got the unit pretty much. We got most of the glue and stuff off of the unit, which is great. Um, whatever seeped into the the the, the lace once um, you, it was applied is pretty much still a little bit prevalent. And it's not like it's not a lot, but it's a, just a little bit. But um, so what I'm gonna do now is, like I said, this hair is pretty pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash this hair out. Um, as you can tell, I still have a lot of, a lot of glue in the front near the hairline. Um, and that's going to be with me washing the hair. So that's not really, it's on the lace, but not really on the lace. It's really more so in the hair, in the front line of the hair. So I'm going to get this out with some shampoo, uh, and a shampoo comb. And then I'm going to basically reprep this unit. Okay. You can pretty much see, like if you have, um, this is the hairline. So if you have like where it's a lot of glue, like kind of still stuck in the hairline, what I do is I'll, of course, use what I need to use at the shampoo and shampoo everything out. Sometimes that shampoo don't get everything out. Um, as far as the hair wise, get um, all the glue out. Um, so naturally what I would do is I might put a little alcohol in the front on the tips of the hairline just to make sure I get all that glue out of there. And as you can tell, you see you're looking good, you're looking good, you're looking rejuvenated. Okay. So for people that wear hair, hair, hair prosthetics or um, toupees or wigs, um, I feel like this would be definitely a good product to use. Um, and it's called a uh, wet and wavy tangle free. Uh, this is a leave in conditioner. This is what I tell my clients to get um, if they get to the point where they, you know, they need to comb their hair out. But for like the waves, it's not really necessary for them to have to comb it out as often. Uh, but when they like, oh, I want to I wanna make sure that it's, it's good. I want to comb it out. Um, I always tell them to get some of this leave-in conditioner or they want to get like any kind of like gunk out of their hair. Like let's say you put some um, some holding spray in it or some gel in it and you kind of like want to get those things out of it. Uh, I kind of tell them like use a leave-in conditioner and kind of like get all that gunk out and you'll, it'll, it'll take you back to its natural state. So um, again... Um, if I had a client that had curls, I would definitely tell them that they need to have this on hand, uh, just cause it makes it easier for them to comb the hair out and what, and it's not tangled. Um, so I'll spray a little bit on here. So as you can tell, like it is a little bit easier, it is coming out. If this unit untangles, then I'm gonna be like, I my client was just like, he, I just, he just wants to get something new, but if I can rejuvenate it now, then I'm gonna be like, damn, damn. But 
it's already like starting some of the tangle was starting to come out with just this leave-in conditioner so let's see what um it does as you can tell it's really really matted in the back and like i said some of the, the 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 tangles are starting to come out with this and this is mainly this is mainly meant for uh like weave and stuff like that that gets tangled so um that's why this definitely helps out a lot and you see the back you see how much this back is matted let's see if we can get some of this untangled Coming out, it's coming out. Some of it is coming untangled, but some of it is not. So, you know, again, like I said, I'm not saying that this can't be done. You just will have to put in a lot of work, and it may take more than one day to get all these tangles out. So if you were somebody that wear units and you just don't have the money to, to continue to get units, even though it's tangled or it's getting tangled, um, getting that product and at least trying will be beneficial. And like baby, he didn't he didn't comb this hair out at all. And I understand, and most most men, I, like I, as I said before, most men that's getting into this service, they don't comb their own hair, so they're definitely not thinking about combing a weave. They just think it's up there, it's good. And it's like, bro, that shit tangled. You ain't gonna even attempt. But, I mean, hey. It is what it is. So, you can tell it was, you know, it was, um... For me, I don't think I can, you can't see that, you can't really still, you can't, can't see the roots. You can barely see the roots. If I can't see the base, then for me, it's too tangled. It's too tangled. And again, if you do the service, you know, it's wise to tell your clients how to, how to maintenance these things so they can care for it themselves uh, and give the, the, the best tips. Um, yeah. Because a lot of people initially, when they, uh, professionals think that, you know, oh, I can do the service, I can make it look good, they look good. It's, this service is more than that. It's really about aftercare. Um, more than it is you putting it initially on the head. Um, that's for one. Two, um, a lot of, People that get this don't realize that you're, um, that as a professional, you could be putting a lot of enhancements on it, a lot of product on it, which uh, also kind of helps the hair to not long last as long as it should. So, it's, it's coming, it's coming. So, in the front, I done got, uh, you know, a lot of hair detangled. Uh... I can see the base a little bit. Not as much as I could before, but it's getting there. So, again, that's why I feel like this is a really good product, this um, this wet and wavy, uh, simply because um, it definitely helps with getting those, uh, those, those tangles and stuff out. You see, we're getting some progress. It's just going straight through. Whereas in the back, not so much. But in the front, it's going straight through, y'all. So, definitely. Um, and, and again, also try not to put so much like holding spray into it, also, because that also kind of like helps with the, the tangling of the hair. So, keep that in mind. Like I try, to, I try my best to put the minimal amount of products on these things. Um, for one, that um, 
the styling foam, it helps a lot. It's not one of those products that kind of like, you know, sits on the hair and kind of helps it like get tangled. So um, that's why I use foam. It's a real lightweight. Uh, styling foam is real lightweight. Try not to use any styling foam that has a lot of oils in it. Um, you got something going on. I didn't intentionally mean for this video to be so long, but I get a lot of questions about aftercare um, from people that are not even my clients. Um, which uh, for me, you know, it sends up a lot of like flags, like, you know, people are not caring about the aftercare of these units, um, which it, it matters because these people are planning for these units to last a long time on the head or just last a long time in general. Um, so I try to tell my clients at least like what's the best hairstyles to be able to keep um, the unit up so you don't have to do so much work because if you're somebody that don't really like do hair or you're somebody that don't really like to, to, to do all this stuff you know they'll be like well what's the best the best hairstyle to, to do less maintenance which is the waves uh, or a low cut uh, like they don't have to necessarily be waves, but it could be like just real low. Um, those are the easiest to, to to take care of because all you have to do is just make sure that it's covered up at night, and then just put a comb through the hair every once in a while to make sure that it's not tangling up. Um, again, that's the easiest hairstyle. My clients that have those type of hairstyles, they're the ones who actually have their unit last for um, six months and more. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. I do have a lot of clients that don't like to have no unit on that, that have a unit that long. They just be like, uh, or even if their unit is still good, they'll be like, I just want a new unit. So just keep that in mind that, um, you know, uh, when you get in this service or when you get in this, that you can choose how you want to do it. You know, if the cost of it, you know, makes you be like, okay, well, you know, I want to get a unit, but I don't want to have to do all this and do that. Oh, another thing is too, for uh, for people that have these units and you go get the unit done by somebody, but then you go to another barber after the fact, when you go to the barber, this is what you tell the barber that doesn't know what's going on on your head or does, just tell him, do not touch the top. Like, don't touch my top of my head. You can either give me a fade down here or you can just... um Tell them just to like line you up, like just line me up, go down on the sides a little bit and just line me up. Uh, don't touch the top. That's the best thing. Like when I first started doing this service, I was doing touch ups before I started actually doing like, you know, the actual whole entire service. I was doing touch ups first because I had guys coming to me that had was going to other barbers that was getting the service. But I already knew what they had going on in their head. So it was easy for me to be like, OK, well, the, the top looks good. I don't got to do nothing to the top. All I got to do is make sure that this is blended. As I can pick up the hair on the sides from the unit, I'll, I pick up the hair on the sides from the unit and I put that and I let that fly and I cut their hair, their hair, not the unit's hair. So you got a lot of barbers that'll just go into it as thinking that this is your hair and they'll cut the top, they'll cut the sides and then you're left with um, an unreusable unit because the barber didn't tore it up. So just keep that in mind. If you go into another barber that's not the person who initially put that unit on your head that you probably would need to tell them do not touch my top as a matter of fact i would tell them don't touch the hairline neither because they don't really necessarily need to not unless you didn't like the hair the hairline before now if you feel like you like the hairline before it was cool tell them don't touch it because what you can do is you can just lay it down and you can just put some fibers if it's like some holes there put some fibers in there and then you can go about your day but don't allow them to touch that or take your hairline back or do any of that stuff because they will mess up the unit if they don't know what's going on. Trust me. I've seen it plenty of times. Now I'm trying to see if I can get this unit. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back. If I can get all this out, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna clean the base and then I'm gonna come. We're gonna rejuvenate this one too. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this one, 
but it looked like it's, it's um, possibly because it, it wasn't that long. He didn't have the unit that long that it's not as tangled to where I cannot get the comb through. But this is actually coming through. So let me finish this up and then we're going to clean it and then I'm going to show you how it looks rejuvenated. I didn't got a, I didn't detangle this a lot. But the back still giving me an issue. Did you see how I was able to get a lot of that out? So, also like I told you guys, a, a curl pattern is a, a, a wave pattern. So basically I could take this unit and I can just give it curls or I can brush it down and give it waves. So I'm not gonna hassle with this unit too much because my client got a new unit and he really didn't care about this unit that much. So I'm not gonna hassle with this, but this unit can be detangled and put back on your head. It just will take a lot of effort. Um, but again, this is a great product for that. And this is a little leave-in conditioner. Um, I don't even know who the, it's called Wet and Wavy for human and synthetic hair. So, like I said, this helps me out a lot and this will help your client out a lot too if they need this to be detangled. And after I, after I will detangle it, of course, I will make sure I clean the base and then I'll just uh, shampoo the hair a little bit just to kind of like comb through it. And then I'll, I will be replying this to my client's head. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me kind of going through the process of um, how to like clean the unit, clean the base, trying to look, make it look good. Now, before I leave, I do want to leave with this. Uh, for the past couple of days, like my um, my heart has really like been hurting for like the Palestinian people, the um, the Sudan, Sudan people, and also the Congo people. Um, they they right now dealing both of those all three of those areas are dealing with uh, genocide, um, and I'm against genocide. I'm against um, war. I'm against um, um, the I'm a, I'm against a lot of shit, and like you know I, I'm all for human life. Period. So um, for people to just be taking people's lives based on bullshit. Um, that shit don't rock with me. And um, I just want to say uh, free Palestinian people, free the Congo people, and free the Sudanians. Like, I just want to leave with that. And I stand with all y'all. See y'all later.